Hello, and today we're going to be looking at comparing some different types of functions. Uh, first thing, let's take let's define a coordinate system and uh, to construct a point x someplace on the x-axis. I'll call this point x, and I'm going to measure the x-coordinate to this or the abscissa. As such, then I'm going to go and I'm going to come up with a function, and I'll say this is negative 3x plus 4. Then I'll graph this point, and I'm going to call this point L. And notice what happens. Look at the pattern, the point as I drag X. Okay, next I'm going to come up with a different function. And I'll call this 3 to the X power. And just like before, I will graph this point. And I'm going to call this point E. And once again, let's drag this, let's drink this point and let's take a look at the pattern we get with E. Notice, does this follow the same pattern as L? Okay, finally, let's do a third function. Hopefully we should, we should recognize this function. x squared plus x minus 5. And then let me just make it a little bit. I want to make it a little big so we can see it. There we go. Now I'm going to graph this point. Got too much salt in there, that's why. There we go. And let's call this point Q. Now notice when I drag this point, what happens? In fact, let's do this. Let's trace these three points. What do you notice? Why do you think I labeled one point L, one point Q, 
and one point E. Is if I take a look at my line here, I've got a line for L. That's our linear function. Notice no exponents. The second one is from the last chapter. That's an exponential function for E. And notice in this one, the exponent is the actual variable. And finally, what we did this chapter is quadratics. That's a parabola. And notice that the variable is squared. And it actually, it's a standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C. And we'll just let this trace a little bit more so you can, you can see it fill in here. And that's what we're going to be looking at today is how can I tell from the equation or from data points what kind of model I will have. And that's what you're going to be discovering today in class.